Alright guys, we're in the garage again. It is cold out. We're moving into the cold season here. Um, which is great for boost leaks just because everything's contracted. You'll really be able to figure out where all, all your boost leaks are, even though they're very small. Uh, as you can see, here's my throttle body. Uh, I took the uh, FICV off, um, and I'm starting to get a little leak in the back part of the uh, IACV. Oddly enough, it's right back by where the uh, adhesive is. I was getting some leaks around this stock map sensor, which I'm not using, so I might take that out and plug it with some uh, JB Weld. The FITV has two air ports, one here and one here, that circulate air into the bottom of your throttle body. And they only have these little teeny tiny O-rings, and on a naturally aspirated setup, a lot of times they go bad and they'll leak there. So what I usually do is I take a spark plug um, box, which I usually have some around here. So, um, not a sponsor, but Autolite. And I usually chop out little pieces of the spark plug box in order to make gaskets because they're really thin and um, they're already pretty dense pieces of cardboard. And they seem to work really well in making gaskets for high boost applications. Not that I'm super high boost, um, I usually test my system at 30 pounds. Uh, a boost just because max I want to be able to run 25 or close to 30 um, so I'm gonna probably make a gasket for this uh, FITV right around this one and this one probably one piece I don't know yet but we'll see just so that uh, that doesn't leak so much um, when I uh, you know I'm doing a boost leak test all right guys, so another pretty common place where you'll have boost leaks with an H22 manifold um, is down by the temperature sensor. The temperature sensor looks like this. Hopefully that's in focus. Uh, right there. And it only has that little bit of an O-ring on the bottom, so air easily escapes around that. So we're actually gonna make a nice little um, gasket out of spark plug box uh, for this. And that is located right right down here sorry it's not the best camera angle but right down there we got to fix that all right right here I'm just gonna show you how I usually do this I chopped off a piece of a spark plug box and it'll look like it uh, is big enough so then the first thing I'm gonna do is just put a little hole somewhere near where I know I'll have Enough gasket. Put the sensor through there. And the hole is still a little bit too big, but try not to rip your gasket off the edges. But just push it through, and you'll see that all of the paper starts rolling up on the edges, and that is the time when you can just take your eraser knife and trim it all down. Now we just gotta put the holes in for the screws. So usually what I'll try to do is push on these pieces of paper with something that way it uh, kind of gives me an idea of what the hole size is on the other side. Hard to see maybe on camera, but you can see how it made those little impressions. Oh, look at that light, that's perfect. So now I know exactly how big the holes need to be and where they need to be. Same thing, I'll just trim these out really, really 